It is the bay with the power, Alex. I was going getting coffee. I don't know why, but OBS keeps forgetting my microphone exists. I have to set it back to my microphone at the beginning of every stream. Right, it's time to get a move on. I have my coffee. I have my frame where I put my glasses. Hello. And we're inhaling Loran. Which is all the beastly dungeons. Hi Alex. Oops. How are you doing today? I have just been had one of the busiest days I've had at work for a long time right what we're we gonna do I have forgotten 
yeah, we had uh, a lot of new people join recently. So they pulled me in to help, to like uh, help coach them. And we found out there was a large chunk of training that just never got done. So we're now having to go through it with them. So somebody's going to be in a lot of trouble for not doing that training. I got any Five vials and a bloody slime. Where? Right, we got Peace Man. Yeah, we have somebody getting in a lot of trouble at work for missing a chunk of important training. So we have like 20 odd people. We're going to teach it them. But it's got to be done by tomorrow, actually. Blood vial. Right, is this place just... Empty room? It looks like it. Oh, stairs. Now, are these trapped stairs? Yes. It's all Pokemon. Who's that Pokemon? It's Pikachu! It's Clefairy! Fuck! Hi, Biff. How are you doing? just say to Alex I've been uh, having one of my busiest days ever today helping out all the coaches and we found out one large chunk of training had been missed out and it is the one bit of training that would make you the angriest as well Which way did they come from? This way. I could see one there. Get her. Oh no. Like, we got a few decent ones out of the, the lot at the moment. No, the, the bit of training that they were missing and most of them had not even heard of was individual rights. We had an erasure request and one of them had no idea what it was or what it was about. And it was a good thing I was coaching because I spotted it. Yeah, you guessed it. Today's day of get hit by everything. Can 
me you. Yeah, I said that as well, so but once I realised I've been going through it with a bunch of them. I even showed them that little document you made. Right. Four stories open. The rest is just exploring and loot. If there's even much up here, it doesn't matter there is. Yeah, only one of the things. Yeah, I don't know if it's been signed off or anything, but I still used it. There's the trap. really done this entire bit already. So we went up the stairs. No secrets. Um, we've been everywhere upstairs. We've been... Oh no, there's up here as well, isn't there? <laughs> so, oh no, I've been up here. This is what led me to the top. So, it's all done. Go this way. We'll see if we can't get any upgrades or anything because we've got 76 grand on us. And then it's on our way to the boss again. So I'll open this so I don't forget. In fact, no, I'll see if there's a side path first. May as well get that done before sitting down and everything. Yeah, there is. Secret door. Cool weekend like this week as well. So Saturday morning, one of my old friends from uni is in town. So me and him are going to the comic book store in Blackburn. I'm gonna go there. I'm gonna go to Geek Retreat as well, where they've got all the D and D stuff. And we're gonna nerd out for half the day before I go around to Dave's to actually play D and D. And he gets on his. Uh, train up to Scotland. So I found out there's a place that sells like boba tea as well in Blackburn, so we're playing that. We both want boba. Spiders! Lots of spiders! Nope, 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 nope. We're gonna trail you guys out a bit and see if we can't get around. Can we? No, we're gonna go this way. We're gonna go a bit further. Oh, it's because it's a connected area. These have all been. <laughs> Look, they're carrying the uh, well of corpse. Right, we'll try it out here. A bit more room to maneuver. There. Nope. Still some stuck in the door. Right. I know you can't climb ladders. So you're coming this way. As long as I can get past you, then you'll be trapped down here. Gotta love that landing roll. And then you stay down there. 
because fuck you guys. Right. Um, we're still going to spawn because it's going to be from a bell ringing woman and she never stops. So now I need to sprint this way. I can hear her. Where you at? Ignore everything else and go for it. And that's all the red spiders gone. Or not. Is there a second one? There is. Now that's all the red spiders gone. Treasure. May as well make our way backwards then. Hooking spiders. Yeah, can I sneak? Oh, he spotted me. My stupid sideways head. And a blood vial. That gives us ritual blood. Is there anything else useful in here? Other than large amounts of lightning? No. Yeah, Bethel's. Like two or three emails you sent me before you left. Just packed full of documents and stuff I've still got. Trying to make a uh, support handbook for people. Let's say for people, for whoever, whoever we steal to go on CS support with me. Whoever gets that fun job. towards the spiders. So, we shall go this way. There was the werewolf that followed us was in here. So it should just be looped now, maybe a couple of people. Loot. back we shall try and level up and stuff angry spiders are still down there so yeah back to the dream level up Let's see what cool stuff we can get and then we'll go and find out what boss it is because I cannot remember the bosses for the sandy bit Upgrades first. Uh, bye, nothing there, nothing there. Oh yeah, we got the beast claw on us, aren't we? Better put that away. Don't wanna accidentally waste materials on it. So we can't get any upgrades. Levels. 
Welcome with very well. Uh, uh, or... <sighs> and then <laughs> stock up on them blood vials. Four hundred and fifty four blood vials should do us for a while. <laughs> Back in. Let two. Where before more spiders appear. What have we got? What have we got? What have we got? We got <sighs> blood starved. Hello, my friend. I should have put fire paper on. Never mind. I will have to do without. And this. Oh, I don't want to do you with the awkward steps. fast to uh, really want to change stuff mid-fight. Come on. He's not too bad, like, Bloodstar has this thing where once it attacks it carries on going that way, it doesn't track you much, so as long as you get out of the way of the initial hit you're usually fine. So fire makes him trivially trivial. I forgot to put my uh, flaming thing on at the start. Fire paper. That's what it's called. Just let me 
Fast enough? Yes. There is an angry extra poison mark. There we go, that's much better. Just need to get away. Ailing Loran and a warm, damp blood jet. Yeah, if I'd have done fire from the start, it'd have been done in no time. At the moment you start. Oh, she's asleep. Good hunter, I must have drifted off. What is it you desire? Very yeah, when you use fire against blood starved, um, it does a hell of a lot more damage for a start, but it does also suppress the poison a little bit. Not by much, but a little bit. There. Down to the next layer. I have my little thing up and tell me which order to do them in. So. Filed chalice is next, which is going to be the really hard one because it's half health. Probably seeing other hunters in this junk dungeon now. And you. Ah, there was one in there. Ah, the red spider, which way did you come from? That way. Go find the bell lady. Where are you at? Are you upstairs? Yes. Oh, bell lady, there you are. Don't you try to knife me? There we go. And they're not all from her. Even better, that means there's a second bell lady somewhere. Where do we go? Your closed door, so it can't be there. Anything else down here? There you are. And I'm right past her. Right, 
May as well follow the bell lady direction first then. Get all the loot from here. Get me some gem upgrades, which is the main thing I'm looking for. Like levels help. But in here I can get the sweet, sweet percentage damage gems. Which is what we want. You can get flat upgrades to damage like plus 20, plus 50, plus 100, whatever. But the big ones you want are those plus X percent damage. Because the higher level you are, the better they are. And we're in the creepy... Yeah. We're in the, like, the Egyptian temple style areas now. Must this way. Is that the switch? Yeah, it is. Are you crazy woman? Yes, you are. <laughs> Running like a monster from a indie horror movie. Go, oh, bus door open. Sorry. Bullet paper. Oh yeah, if anybody's wondering why I just don't keep those things on my bar, it is because I have a fat thumb. I occasionally press square when I don't mean to, so I don't want to waste them. There you are. Yeah, if I keep them on my bar all the time, I'll occasionally hit square when I don't mean to, like that. And... Use them all up. Dead. One jump load. What's up here? Here we have drops down. No secret door. So you're a drop down to the lower level, I'm assuming. We'll do a loop. This is where we came in. Yeah, 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 right, so. Anywhere leading off here. If I missed a door or something. No. How do I get to the bottom bit then? No stairs down. Back this way, maybe. Have I missed something further back? I did. I ran straight up here to the bell ladies, didn't I? And there's another path this way near the start. So. Go this way. Beast man's poison beast man's. Who's this summon? Is this Henriette? Ooh, Joseph the Beast Claw. He's the guy we beat up and got a beast claw from. And a crazy lady. Oh, she's actually holding a corpse. I did not notice that before. Fire gem. If I was an arcade build, I would actually use those fire gems. They're really good. But 
fire in bulk for scale of arcane. Hi Manu. How are you today? This way. Yeah, it says turn back, so it's got to be this way. Okay. Oh, rest as much as you can then. What? I think I got you baited. I am. Okay, Manu, I am. I had a busy day at work, but today, tomorrow is going to be easy day, and I have a nice weekend planned. I'm meeting an old friend from uni, and we're going out for like food and visiting nerdy shops. Hi, cute bar. Yeah, it's uh, it's his birthday today. And he's travelling from down south where he lives up to Scotland, the very northern part of the com country. And he's stopping off like in my area. Just said, oh yeah, we'll meet up on Saturday. So when I go to the when I wait, I'm waiting at the door like that. Waiting at the door and you can't even fit through. But yeah, we're going to meet up on Saturday. Get breakfast. Go to the comic book store. Go to the game store that sells all the Dungeons and Dragons. And then be lazy for the rest of the day. Oh yeah, we found a boba tea place as well. As well so we're going to go there. <gasps> Doing alright, Bart. I beat another boss. I beat like the the chalice version of Blood Starved Beast. He's like a more poisonous, more aggressive version, but he's not too bad. And now we are in all of Spider's land. saying as well I, I, I was double checking earlier the uh, like what order I'm supposed to do the chalice dungeons in to get the story boss at the end and like the next chalice I have to do is the the defiled dungeon which is half health you get cursed rotted and defiled like one's half health, one's half stamina, and one's less damage. So we're gonna do cursed. I think it is it defiled. I'm doing. Yeah. So defiled is half health. Then I'll do is, which is the like alien stuff. And then e heal. Yeah, and you heal is the the end game stuff. So I'll have to do it half health, but one of the tougher boss bosses is there as well. Trap. But we have a little bug buddy. And he may contain upgrades, so Bolt. Nope. Although it is a nice gem, it's not one that I can use. Yeah, it is a tough one. It has one of the harder bosses at the end as well. So, it's probably going to be one of the areas I die a lot at. So, unless. Although, I'm not sure. I've not done that boss with this weapon before. So, it may even be a lot quicker. 
All I know is that I really struggled at it when I did my uh, my magic playthrough. Come here, little bug. Give me loot. Dirty. That's a poison gem. Hi, Danny. How are you? I am doing Chalice Dungeons. I fell down, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Let's go back. I am alright. So I am dreading the next dungeon. The next dungeons are the... <gasps> Treasure room? Treasure room! Next dungeons I have to do are the defiled ones, which is like half health. it got uh, Bastard of Loran. This is just going to be materials, isn't it? Yeah, flowers. What about this side? Here we have more flowers. Yep. So I actually skipped a bit by dropping down. And now we go back the way we came. Nothing over here, is that? No. Just a crazy view across the canyon. Across the creaky bridge. Back to... Oh, I didn't open this, did I? Another bastard of Laura. Now we go this way. What are you doing? Throwing molotovs at me. We got a. I don't know what that red glow means. I'm assuming it's a powered up one, but I don't know what the red glow actually means. Another cursed. It's a cursed fire one. Oh. Give me more. What more physical damage ones? Fire gems aren't that good for me. What about the mob? It's this. Oh no. Come here, bitch. Do not like. There's another bell lady. Do not look like it. No. Is there anything down here? Waste of an area. Let's go and get our loot. Yeah, I've been having a look. See if I can mod my PS4 to do like Bloodborne randomizers and shit. But unfortunately, mine is like one of the super old models of PS4 and you just can't do it with it. Which is annoying. I'd love to be able to do like stupid randomizers and stuff. Right. 
this way then. This has the hole. So that's this bit done then. Across the creaky bridge. So I've seen some really cool stuff on the on the randomizers like starting with three random weapons that you can pick. And they're the only weapons that'll drop in the game. So like when you initially start and the little messengers give you a choice of three weapons, that's completely randomized. So you are boss door. So we're gonna go and get more levels and shit. So I've got like 170 grand on me. Don't wanna lose it. This is the wrong way. So is that out of four options I picked three wrong. There we go. Almost at max. Right, let's go and see what boss this is then. Let's see if the message in front can give me a clue. And then I'll know whether to put a fire or lightning on. Spark. I might even show you all the calm dungeon as well. There is a calm dungeon. Borg beast. You say to bring help. Borg beast, focus on evasion. Poison is effective. Well, don't have poison, but I got fire. Who have we got? Who this? Laborant beast. Right, this guy can talk. You can actually meet him in the game. But I sent him to ASF because Clinic he got turned into an alien. Hey Greg! How are you doing, Greg? You know what? Just get hit in the face. Oh, you have ranged attacks. Ah, your punches hurt a lot. Do Charles Dungeons. I have a I'm basically doing the Charles Dungeons that get you all the story bosses. Or like story related bosses anyway. I'm not doing any of the randomized ones. I do not like the way this guy moves, I keep being caught. But if 
I back away, he does this like that rush as well. Ow! Right, so his like sonic new parts, and he's got big lightning smash. Beast don't like fire. Get him while he's roaring. Got him. Thank you. Lower Loran and a downboard gem, and he's the end of this dungeon. Putting levels into health. Very well. Nine. Almost there. Right, let's go and get our. Restocks. It's all fire paper stored. There we go, stuck up. We have anything else cool in here? We got a bomb blade, bolt paper. Got the short one for co op. No, right. We need to pop some blood. What do we need for this dungeon? So, chalice ritual and we need. What is it called? Filed chalice. So you're the cursed and defiled chalice. Ailing Loran. So Thurmu, Central Thurmu, Laura Thurmu, Ailing Loran, defiled chalice. Just cursed and defiled. I done these in the wrong order. No? I've not. I've done low, low ephemeral. I'm sure I have. So you're Thumerian. Central. Low Thumerian. Yeah, I have. not have a defiled chalice. I am confused. Even that our guide is wrong, but 
Give me a second, I'm confusing my shelf. Oh, it's the same thing. Chalice and Cursed and Defiled is the same thing. Oh well. Ritual, but we need arcane haze and some more blood. So yeah, this is going to be the extra hard one. So cursed and defiled chalice. We've got bastards. Ritual blood floor four. We need eleven more arcane haze. Oi! German. So what we can do is we can buy up. A couple of those. One of those. Uh, where's the arcane haze extractor there? And we'll get ritual blood. One of them. Greg, are you just trying to make up for the fact that Muffo's not here? Is that what it is? <laughs> Rent? Oh no. <laughs> Little bit more blood, and I should have enough. And then we go to a stupid hard dungeon. Chalice, cursed and defiled. Conduct. Cursed Thumerian defilement. that health just go away. Yay, look at that health bar. difficult this bit is. We may go and do a bit more storm. Here and walk directly into oil. Like three swings not too bad. You are the boss door. <gasps> 3D printer arrives tomorrow. The first thing you're gonna make, and why? There we go, half elf. So, what's the first thing you're gonna make, and why is it a dick? Because we all know that's what you're gonna make first. Oh, you might know, but Manu would. Definitely. <gasps> 
kind of stuff did you make on it, Danny? Like, I know a couple of people who have them, but they use it for making Warhammer 40,000 figures and similar things. Because they're all huge nerds. Ah, like, um... That's cool. That's actually really useful for because stuff like that's usually impossible to find. Like I have a, a box, like a little keepsake box. Um, is it just fancy in here? Yeah, it is. <laughs> It has a little latch on it, but it's a little puzzle latch and it broke ages ago, so there's nothing that fits in. So at some point I need to find somebody nearby who's got a 3D printer and see if they can make one for me. They're cool. Seen a bunch of lithopanes before. They're like three D drawings. That like a good way of describing it. Find a picture so you can see because they're cool. Uh, this one. Boom. Boom. There you go. See that. Those are lithophanes. So it's like 3D printed with ridges and stuff on it. And you put a light behind it. It looks really cool. So I know somebody who's got one of... Like him and his dad. I know a couple of people have made, made like nerdy ones and stuff. But they're really cool. Whoop. There we go. What did I do? I pressed the wrong button. Oops. There. But yeah, Lutherfanes are really cool. Ah, trap! Don't hit with fire, I only have a little bit of health. Like that. So yeah, Defiled Chalice is going to be a struggle. Oh cool, so you can get like a... Something that just converts it to the model for you, that's awesome. Stop running into the fire arrow. That was doing so well. Yeah. 
fireballs. Yeah, yeah, I got my 3,000 back. Right, you, I can just ignore you, you've already been dealt with. move. So the only good thing about this dungeon is that shit on it. Blood echo as well. Right, so we're just upstairs. About the entirety of that dungeon. Like, throw the switch and it's done. Although I suppose it is level one. Level one is usually quite short. Yeah, nothing there. It is, it's just a small loop. Alright then, towards the boss. Maybe it's just trying to be nice because it's nerfed me. Here we have a side path. is effective. Why? Oh, it's a crazy lady. Is it? It's not fireman's. Get her. You can hear something angrily thrashing. That's what he meant by firearm is effective. Hurry those guys. You do not open. And you're the way I came in. This one probably will open now. since the big chest. Anything cool? Yes? No? Maybe? More ritual blood. Oh, it's a miner! That's where the noise was coming from. Right, that one I Upstairs first. So, oh. 
Yeah, you're where I came in. Go up the ladder. Loot. Must collect the loot. So you're the door I couldn't open like ten seconds ago. And I forgot something. More Molotovs. So now this door is open. What else have we got up here? You. I don't think I could see hiding next to the door. Take that. in this. Anything cool? More ritual blood. What's this? I saw you glitch out. Uh, oops, I didn't mean to do that. Secrets. I say secrets, all it does is leave me here. Rubbish secrets. So we opened up this, that leads back to the start. Not that door. So it's into the big battle room. We got in here. Fire weapons, little guy. Right, fire weapon man, come back here. Hiding with a gun, cheeky fucker. These guys drop really cool fire gems as well. Whoa! Who let you have guns? Oops. More than one of them as well. Yeah, I can see you in there in the mist. Oh, come down here. Move out of the firing line of the other guy. Oh, don't pull out your own gun. There. Now we need to get you. You get backstabbed for your trouble. Right. What's in this loot box? Cursed odd. Tempering damp. Cursed odd tempering damp blood gem. I can't even remember what those ones do. Oh well, we shall see shortly because we've opened up the route to the boss. So, up here. Yes, loot boxes. That is what the Chalice Dungeons are actually all about as well. Like, you get a lot of souls. And you get <clears throat> some cool random drops. But the actual loot boxes in room like that has all the best stuff in it. So, boss is that way. 
we are going to head back. So yeah, if you do the proper random, random chalice dungeons, you, you're basically just hunting for the boxes. Or occasionally a merchant. There's a merchant that can show up in them. He has cool stuff. I know I've not got any. So we've got 50. Give me them. 577. Right. Let's go and have a look at these gems. Tempering, tempering, adepts. Beast hunters. Cursed. So yeah, cursed. Does up my damage a bit, but drops my weapon durability down like 50, which I don't want. So you're the cursed odd tampering. You're not too bad if it, if it wasn't for that you're a flat amount it'd be a decent gem. Percentage gems are the best. I don't think I've got yeah. So that gem I think the only thing that's gonna go up is yeah curse. But I don't want to lose the Wemper. So we got how about you guys? Bolt, odd, fire, murky for poison, dirty for rapid poison, cursed fire, cursed striking. Nah. So, so we do have the best one on. And then gun, 12%, scaly. Yeah, so we've still got the best ones on at the moment, anyway. Let's go see what this boss is. See how swiftly I get my ass handed to me. Watch my health bar go from this. To this. Yes. This. From big health bar to tiny health bar. Now let's sprint to the boss because I don't want to deal with any of these bastards. Do we have any messages? Cleanse these foul streets, remember visceral. Cleanse these foul streets, bless us with blood. No hints about whether it's a person boss or person. Oh, you. Right, two grand on a parry. I just need to not get hit by her combo ever. Starts using fire and shit. Come on, use your sword. Yeah, I don't have that. Nope. Don't want to be that close when you can fire burst at any time. Like that. No problems with spamming bullet fire if I need to. No. Oh, she got flame weapon off. That thing can probably kill me in a single hit now. 
Careful. See? She now does the burst by swinging as well. I wanted to prevent her both to go out. shots left. Copious amounts of parries. And I got another cool door. Or gem. Right. To the next area. this and then go back to it. Let's go grab a level. I might actually get some stamina soon as well because I think I'm going to need it. You're at 50. Yeah, we'll get you up to 50 and then we'll get you, we'll get endurance up to like 25 or something. Farewell. Oh, look, we did it. We are at maximum blood vials. We have all the blood vials in the world. <laughs> Now for maximum bullets. Yeah, if you do what I do, which is use any spare blood you have, rather than boosting it up to the next level, just use it on vials. You Oh, never run out. You should never have to do any grinding. Hopefully. Right. Oops. Need to go back and do this, Donna. Side paths have all the materials we need for the next ones. So we're always going to do things. Obvious trap room. Do we go up? Do we go side? We'll go this way first before we go upstairs. Because this is a Yeah, it's a chest room, isn't it? Hello? <gasps> Good morning, Star. See if we can't get this backstab in. Surprise! Got you. Oh no, I can't pick up the blood vials. Crazies. Right. So we've done this bit. 
Where's the obvious trap? You come in. Oh, there's not one there. Weird. Where do we go? Just become a liar. The throwing knife. Silver bullets. No. We only have one way to go. Got him. So we got closed door, open door. Open door leads to traps. Nothing but ambushes, nothing but traps. Yeah, I'm going this way anyway. Oh cool, it's like a little walkway over the entrance. Man who dead. <laughs> Unable to acquire blood vial because I'm at the maximum. Oops. Oh, that's what it meant by trap. <laughs> right, through the door we go then. What do we got? Oh, there we go. Uh, we're on the upstairs bit, which means there's a crazy woman over here. I don't want any of your combo bullshit. She's got a pixel left. Yeah, got her. And we stole her hair as well. Remember kids, if you're going to steal someone's hair, steal it from a crazy person. That way they'll never believe them. Yeah, that's what, what actually happened to Greg. Somebody just stole all his hair. Big silver bullets. Uh, what do we have in here? We have... More ritual blood. Is that what it is, Greg? Somebody... Sneaks into your house at night. He shaves a little bit more off. And then leaves. I'll use this as a shortcut back. Not seen any ticks recently, which is weird. Ah, there's the trap. Run, 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 run. Leave these nerds behind. Right. I'm going to nip back to the Hunter's Dream. And then I'm going to go and grab my tea. So I'll be back in a second. I'll leave you with a lovely Hunter's Dream music.
Hello, nerds. Pew. Right. Let's see if I got enough for a level. Welcome with nerds. I do not. So you can go on bullets. And then we can actually start level two. So after I've done this chalice, I will start on the rest of the story. Because I know the next couple of chalices have a couple of like basically bosses you don't see until later in the story. So I'd rather do the boss in story first than in the chalice for me, if you know what I mean? These angry smashing things. And it goes down. So there is boss door. We're going this way then. Hey, now we've got a proper temple layout. Oh, bell ringer. Or oh, lantern nerd. You know, I maxed out those blood vials. I might end up using them all going through this chalice. Right, stairs go up. Stairs going down. Looking over here. Or here. No. Bold Hunter's Park. Or running away. Right, uh, we got down, we got up. Go up. What's up this way? More loot for a start. Bone marrow ash. Bone marrow is actually really tasty. I had some not long ago, and you basically like. You can eat it as it is, like if it's roasted or something. But what's really good is if you use it as like a substitute for butter or something. Ritual blood. Any more. And then you're the elevator that goes back down to the beginning. So now, <gasps> trust woman. Good thing she didn't spot me earlier. Those things can. These things can hurt a lot because she does this. They literally teleport at you. She does a lot of damage in a single swing. And she also does Frenzy. So, teleporting. Strong woman. Who does a lot of damage in a single swing and does Frenzy.
Are you trapped? Or not? No. So there's no more doors up here, so down we go. Anybody down here? be a boulder to bat then. Back up this way. This place is bigger than I thought it would be. Ambush waits ahead, lever waits ahead. Yeah, that's what I thought. to the muddy bit. And you lead to... Oh, you're down the stairs. So that's what's down this way. So I went up there and then down here leads to the muddy bit. Up down here. <gasps> Bug! Cursed tempering damp blood gem. You, you could be really good. Oop. So, we'll double back this way. Just make sure I've not missed anything. So, what's back this way then? Crazy one. Right. There. Here's the lever. All store on logs. So what was behind these stairs? If we got here. Another tunnel, a bug that's dead. Oh, it's this bit with the miners. Miners do a hell of a lot of damage. trap in case you fall down. Oh well, up we go. Boss door is open. He's here. So we'll have another side path to do probably. And then a boss. So 
Zwei Paar. Lantern Man. We got in here. Door. Blood. Fire wheel does. Door splitting off to the left. Hmm. Let's get you. So, as this is a sealed door, I'm going to leave this for now. I remember Blood Gem. And we'll go up that side path so I can see what's up this way. It's in here. Hello? Anyone here? Apparently not. No loot either. Um, the true randomised ones can be very long. Most of these are quite short. Like, you can beat most of these dungeons quicker than you'll beat any, like, regular area. doing all of them like I am or all the main story dungeons I should say like it's a decent chunk of extra content content to play but each dungeon itself doesn't actually take that long yeah I was hoping they'd do something similar in Dark Souls 3 or even in Elden Ring give you like a, a randomised infinite mode or something but so these dungeons that I'm doing here aren't the ones I'm doing right now aren't actually random these are like set dungeons for story stuff but by doing them you unlock all the stuff for the randomised versions so the randomised versions are random layouts and stuff and have tougher rewards or better ones, I should say, for tougher challenges. But they also give you a code for each one, and you can share that code with other people. Which is how somebody discovered the Com Dungeon. Which I will actually show after we've done this boss, just so you get to see it. And this. No, I saw you getting up. You're not backstabbing me while I loot my box. What's in this loot box? We have. Inflicted organ. More chalice dungeon stuff. All of these loot boxes basically just give you. You'll either have a weapon or it'll have stuff for accessing the next set of chalice dungeons or for doing shit tons of randomised ones oh trap Let's 
so close. the boss door into the side path got this nerd Fire guy was on this side. And the ambush guy was on the other side. There. And there's my blood. So now we'll go this way. So we've got crazy woman. We've got the three that are going to drop down as well, just because I killed them last time, but this time they're up there still, because they've respawned. Is she dead? Is she dead. So we have gunman and three fire guys. in here other than an enemy so I'm guessing there's a secret door. No? You liar. There's literally nothing in here. What a rip-off. Right. Back to the lantern it is then and then on to the boss. Oh yeah that was blocked off apparently. Wait, so those stairs are blocked off. And this guy's waiting here like an idiot for you to come down to try and ambush you. Ow! No! <laughs> Stupid traps! not decided which one I'll get yet though. Whether I'm getting Scarlet or Violet. So I may ask Beth and see which one Beth gets and get the opposite. There's my almost 200,000 blood echoes like back. Avoid the trap this time. Okay. 
<laughs> yeah, that's what we did with um, Pearl and Diamond. Oh, is it the pack with the little statue? It's got the statue of the three starters on it. I'm sure we can arrange that. Welcome. What? Very well. What's Farewell. UK only? Wow. Yeah. I will message and we will organize it. <laughs> Bot only. Yeah, I still have my, uh, My pearl one here. Look. He lives on my desk on top of my Pokemon cards. I was going to take him to work, but we're not allowed, like, decorations on our desk anymore. Yeah, my little pal here. I saw a really cool video as well where the. Um, you know the little figurines that you can paint, like Warhammer and things like that? They have what are called washes for them, which are like, um, like watered down ink that you basically brush over it and it does a light colour all over. And somebody had found the perfect one to use on Palkia to turn it into the shiny Palkia. Just by using this ink wash. You're in the no. Nothing but bonfires. <laughs> we have... Oh, fuck you. Doing this nerd on half health. Yeah, you've got your dog now. Right, so it is Watchdogs of the Old Lord. With my health halved. And his lunge does a single, like, instant kill. So I have to keep a close eye out for it. That move will kill me in one go. Well, everything else apparently. Yeah, we used to get. So in our offices, we have desks, like banks of desks or roll, rows of desks. And you would have an assigned desk where you would sit. You might share it with somebody who's like on the opposite shift as you. But it was your desk. So you're allowed to put decorations and stuff on it like... I have like a little Rubik's Cube puzzle on mine. And like my origami on it and stuff. So we need to get the watchdog's legs. If I can get his legs, I can break them and stagger him. Now 
Crowder, you can see how little damage I am doing to him now. And how much he does in a single hit. And then his lunge one shots me. But yeah, when they upgraded our office. We all got new PCs, new chairs, new desks. But we're told we're not allowed to decorate them or anything anymore. Which sucks. Yeah, it's rubbish. Even so, because I've got like post-it notes on my desk and stuff, I will make little origami birds and things like that and put them on there. It's just they're always gone by the next time I get in the office because the cleaners got told to get rid of everything. If it looks like it's a personal possession, it goes in a box for them to take home. It's rubbish, I hate it. damage I'm doing to that stuff. He's break his leg. What he's doing. We'll aim for back right first. We might have to come back to this guy after I've got a couple of weapon upgrades and stuff. So I'll give him a couple more attempts. Because I know I do more damage after I break his leg. Because he's got armour. But. It's just. Can I actually get that break? Oh, gonna break. Cool. And he bleeds lava. Because why not? Ah, can't see. Oh, the common backhand of his lunge. And again. his front like there is like burning and spewing out blood and stuff but it still did bugger all when I did it so I'll give it a couple more goes I might try the transform attack that tends to do a decent amount it's just slow.
wet. Broke it. Still not much. A quarter. Yeah, I'm still not doing much to him. Broke two of his limbs and didn't even reach half at Saul. We will go do some story and come back. Final upgrade and stuff should give us some decent things. I'm alright, Spike. I am on the cursed dungeon that halves your health, so not fun. <laughs> Spike first. So we've got now we have front here, lecture building. Do I have access to upstairs? Under chief emblem. buy that now. Uh, four of them. Use. Yeah. There we go. Right. Um, I will check if I've got access to upstairs in the cathedral. Oh, yes. That's where we should go. Let's see how our pregnant friend is doing. <laughs> I'm not surprised. If we're fishing in this weather, we'll just get you mosquito bites and not much else. She's still not well. Oh, well, right. So we're going to go up here to see. First, did I ever pick this? Can I remember? <gasps> Almost got a car. Almost. I can't remember when I if I did this the first time I got to cathedral. So I did. I have only had a like proper close encounter with a carp once. It went for me because carps are assholes. <laughs> Ate five of seven pieces of bread and left. Sounds about right. Am I doing? Am I just being dumb? Yes, I'm just being dumb. Right. Give me that lift. We're going to go up to the top. Yeah, I know a guy who keeps cars. He's got like 
or in like quite a large pond that he's in a field on his farm. And they're uh, murderous little bastards. They eat everything. Apparently I never opened this chest. Yeah, he had a... Like a badger set up a... His nest, a badger set. Like near his pond. And one of the baby badgers fell in and I can't eat it. see if I have the key to this door. I can't remember whether I do or not. And if I don't, well, we're going back into the nightmare. So that'll be fun for everybody. Oh yeah, it's all the flamethrower dudes in wheelchairs, isn't it? I do. Right, more optional boss this time. Check out this little freak. Hello. in the game is this way. And now look, he's got eyes on his lantern. Look, more little freaks. So this is Upper Cathedral Ward. This is where the the church hides all its shady shit. Like these little freaks. Inside the building can be difficult because it is like the toughest version of some of those enemies. However, I have all my upgrades and shit from doing Charles So, I shouldn't. Uh, 
I've just got to remember where shit is. Look at you, Mr. Scythe Man. It's a wild spoik. Right, there we have Mr. Brain Sucker. Choir set. And you can even hear their singing. Lantern. Where is it? I know it happens here at some point. That man's knowledge. Door! Look at him. I wonder. Will it let me? No, he'll flinch, but it won't hit him. There you are. Now this is the reason this area is difficult. These werewolves. <gasps> no brain to suck, then you are immune. Unless you come across one of the specialist one runs that uh, that sucks out like Mario speedrunning skills, then you're screwed. Right, so we have door. Does not open. Oh yeah, there's a uh, multiple werewolves down here, isn't there? Swing in from the rafters. This is the bit everybody died at. Because if you do this, and I forgot, and now I'm trapped. There. <laughs> Poor Greg's having flashbacks. I'm sure Danny is as well. This is not a nice area. Right. Ignore all these little bastards this time. It's not like they can catch up to me. You're gonna point. And you're gonna get parried. See, I do decent damage to them as long as I get the chance to hit them. Yo yo yogurt merger on Deccan, Paula de Coimet Vruten Vlicken. What do you want about Spike? What is this crazy Dutch thing you're saying? Again, 
Spike, you are terrible. Right. You haven't big enough flashbacks yet, Greg. <laughs> Should be werewolves. There is a way to cheese them, but I don't want to do it because it is properly cheesy. Yeah, I, uh, I put it into Google and it popped up in the advert first thing. <laughs> right, so the way people usually cheese them is they pull them to this door that they can't get through and hit them there. But I want to try and one by one it. I don't think I can. I'm just gonna get trapped again. Maybe. Did I get lucky? I got lucky and only came only those two came. So now now number three comes. Sweet. And I didn't have to use the door cheese. Right. You on that side? Spell on me. Cosmic Eye Watcher badge. That gives us more weapons and shit. And then there's. There's a ladder or something on the other side. If I remember right. Treat inside with. Oh no. It's the one in the corridor. So. It was a trap. There. So we go up the ladder. And up here we have another one, but lots of loot. Bart Chickle, hey oh, Kai, we have a new year. Go, go, Guchim, het Gord, Eldia. Luke, die, Bain, and new oinche, dojo, me, and shri, you, ja, shore, up, do, eight, just more of the advert, eh? Bart, up, do, eight, to, bank, oh, da. Ik vind Ju uekt gigagoy de ls sher zelf sher gord lom dut. He stole one of my insights. Right. I'm an acknowledged by man's life, we've got shit on that stuff now. A slug! And a shotgun door. Oh, is Spike just showing his age? Is that what it is? Spike doing the back, the Dutch equivalent. Back in my day. Oh no! It's gonna chain me. Please. 
to escape around the corner. No, 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 get off. I should show you the green cross code out there. Alex will remember that. Orphanage key. We let that guy run an orphanage. Right. You don't. Open little shortcut door, and then door to the outside. Huh. Important thing. Right, I'm gonna nip down the stairs because I think that key works downstairs, but I'm not 100 sure. I know bits of Dutch Spike, I can work out some things, but not much. like German. If I see enough German written down I can work it out eventually. I'll work out bits of it. See, I can work most of that out.
<laughs> Alien. That means alien boss is this way, which means spark paper time. Look at them. All them flowers. Celestial emissary. Now, can you work out which one he is? He's the one hiding in the back. Because he's a little bitch. Big bitch. And he's dead. There we go. What? 15, 20 second boss fight. Done. <gasps> no spike, you are cute. Nothing else up here. Let's go and break the window and spend some salt. Or blood echoes, I should say. Yeah, Bart is very cute. I have just seen the bottle you have made, Manu. That is amazing. <laughs> also, I did the smart thing. Well, All my little stars are in the... Very well. Let me... You know the bag you gave us? The... Pokemon cards in. I have put all my little stars in there. So they are all stashed safe and secure. Right. Time to do the more difficult boss. So we need to go to none of those. None of those. Lumen Flower Gardens, I think that's what it's called. So, down there is where we fought Vicar Amelia. All the way back. The woman who turned into like a deer thing. All the way down there. And this is like a balcony above. Gimme. Call Beyond. One of the coolest spells in the game that I'm not going to be able to use. So yeah, if any of you are have played this game before. The spell that Mikalash uses that fires out all the little darts is that one. Right, down we go. All the bear down. Kill these little buggers. And then we are straight into another boss fight. come in here granted you are underneath the big cathedral 
you've literally found a secret room in the big cathedral. Come down. And you find this. You've got moonlight coming in through there. these statues that look like they're praying. <gasps> Hi frog! And then you find this lady. She's sad. Now this here is Rom. Or something like Rom. And then we have this lady. Who is just sad. And like all the other great one bosses in this game, she doesn't actually do anything until you attack her. Same with Rom. Same with the Brain of Mensis. So now we're going to beat her up, unfortunately. legs like you can get crit shots on her head and stuff but here is the best place to hit her that's her being staggered and she starts her horrible thing that constantly hurts you electricity. We're back. That, that headbutt hurts the most. Staggered. And she's dead. I'm sorry, Herbrietus, but you are needed for more chalice stuff. There's one other thing we can do here. So I remember the queen who got splatted and she left behind this. I'm alright frog. I had a busy day at work but I am enjoying myself with some bloodborne. Oh yeah, we have the Undying Queen and she got splatted by a crazy guy we led to her. So this is all that's left. <gasps> uh, she hulk card. Let's put the Queen bits on her. Time flows in reverse for this scrap of flesh. And now it's gone from our inventory. for our levels what's going on bullets and vials. Forget. <laughs> Ooh, small resonant bell. We've got blue and lead elixirs on here now and pellets. Alright. So 
26. Yeah. Get some more of them, please. So we got beast. Got lake. Clockwise metamorphosis. So what were the other ones that we picked up? Communion, Formless Odin, Claw Mark, Rapture. Hair. Ah, that was the other one I picked up hair. And then we got Hunter and Impurity. Alright, Hank. If this is the hill you want to die on, I'll fight your brat. Come on, Bobby Boy. Let's rumble! That's my purse! I don't know you! Hi, ah! Buzz. How you doing? So How about off. a nice cup of shut the fuck up? <laughs> I was at Staples cause I needed some staples to staple a staple on my staple box so my staples wouldn't fall out anymore but staples were out of staples and I asked the staples employee named Dapel if they had more staples and she said more I staples. could order my staples from Naples but this staples had no staples so I had to leave without staples but my phone was about to die so I needed a cable so I walked past April to the cables but the cables were too much so I just bought a bagel now I'm at home. Yay. Bagels are good. Right. I think I've gone to the right place. I have. We're going this way. <laughs> I'm alright, Boz. I am flying through the latter half of this game. at never mind creativity sucks for TTS when I could just do this lol 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 <laughs> oh yeah, boss Frog wants to know how so how you're so good at uh, getting gifted subs. He tried it the other day in Jess's stream and failed. Skip TTS does work, Mark. I made sure of it. Nameless Moon Presence 
beckoned by Lawrence and associates. Hell of blood. Is there actually anything in here or is it just that knot? Smashing all of your stuff. That's the way out. So back down the other side. You trying to get Frogger gifted something there, boss? Tell you what, if you manage to get him a gifted sub in Jess's stream, I'll gift him one here as well. Chunk. More bullets. Come on, give me useful stuff. And so. Yeah, these are the creepy university students. It's what happens to you if you read the wrong books. You turn into one of those creepy water guys. We're gonna giant. Giant's dead. Right, um, there's nothing else around here, is there? Right, down the ladder. Now you can meet the proper creepy one, Manu. Not like Greg and Alex who just killed it on sight. Oh, this cannot be. You cannot be. No, you didn't. Lord Amidara? Oh, how did this come to pass? Now, wait just a moment. Do you think you love me? Me? Oh, it pains me to hear it. You've made yourself a Miss Reckoning. I shared with you a thing most secret. Now, you're witness to a miracle. And all the stronger for it. It's plain as a pike staff. Now, say in my heart, you were as a lamb to my god. Well, you weren't to know. And it wasn't for you to know. All's well that ends well. I'll Wait, say. did Spike get one? <laughs> did you get a gifted sub, Spike? <laughs> and not Frog? No matter. Such details are trifling. Let this express what words cannot. Yay. Well, doubt me not. <laughs> <laughs> you got one, Frog. Yay, there we go. A deal is a deal. Ah, well met. On the good grace of a certain god, and the way he meted out his love. Oh, what's that smell? <laughs> the sweet blood. Trouble base gifted Frogburb ah, a subscription. Trouble base gifted a tier <laughs> one sub to Frogburb. Ah. Oh. Do you go? Right, we have patches. Patches can now show up as a vendor in Chalice Dungeons. And he sells useful stuff for stupidly expensive prices. But actual useful stuff, but he charges a ridiculous amount for it. 
and now back into the nightmare. something. Bell ringing woman rings a sinister bell. Oh no. Right, there's no lantern immediately where we came in. So there must be one slightly ahead. sounds. Yeah, Frog, what is it? Um, I will drink it if I first, if I'm thirsty, but I prefer still water. Oh yeah, it's the creepy building. Lantern. So I think <gasps> No I just don't like the taste of it. Yeah, I know what you're referring to now, frog. Right. This is gonna be our stopping point. the dream and we will continue with the nightmare next time oh, we've not got enough for a level we'll buy two blood vials and 50 bullets we're almost maxed on bullets as well as we do. <laughs> there we go. So that's me done for today then. I'm gonna sit and chill for a bit. Might play some Monster Hunter. But we's done. So I need to find somebody to raid. Ba 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 we shall uh, go and see Tom. <laughs> raid Jess and say raid the raid for the gifted sub chats in but chat please. Uh, yeah, but great. We've not raided Jess for quite a while, so we'll raid Jess then and call people mugs for uh, gifting subs to Boz. Uh, where the fuck do I spell vacuously? There. So yeah, we're going to raid over to Jess and say hello. And... A 
have read message for you. There we go. There we have a we have a raid message. <laughs> so yeah, any gifters or you're a mug if you gifted a sub to bars. Take your pick. But I will see you all next time. Have fun everybody. Bye bye.